When I first visited Ireland in 2019, I knew then it would be the first of several to come. From the moment I saw Dublin Airport peering into my window on the flight in, I was entranced with its beauty, history, and people. At my previous trip to Dublin, I had heard of the famed Famine Memorial. I was unable to visit the site. However, I wasn't going to let that opportunity pass me by again this time now in 2022. I wanted to learn more, more from my previous trip of what I discovered about the famine. I wanted to get up close and feel their story. In the Dublin City Docklands, you can find these famed statues. They were presented to the City of Dublin in 1997, designed and crafted by Rowan Gillespie. They commemorate the Great Famine of the mid-19th century. It is estimated that one million people died and another one million immigrated during what is known as the Great Irish Famine, which happened between 1845 to 1849. Although a blight on the potato crops was partial blame of the famine, it is not the complete culprit, as many in other countries have been taught. Crops from Ireland were deported out, leaving many who were raising these crops to starve. Worse yet, unable to pay rent, farmers and their families were evicted from their homes. The famine has numerous social, political, and financial factors that continue to be the subject of historical debate. There is no debating the walking history books that I met on my previous trip. Like Mary Gallagher, I have never heard of the coffin ships until she informed me of these. While the people of Ireland would flee to places like Dublin and Cork, the hopes for fine passage on ships to North America for new beginnings away from the famine. Only one in five would survive such voyage. Due to disease and malnutrition, many would perish, never seeing land or their families again. Other friends I made along the way shared stories of the famine passed down from their relatives who lived through it. 
giving tours of the famine graveyards, of the personal homes, and sharing personal family heirlooms. Feeling blessed to have these experiences is an understatement. As I learn my ancestry, there is Irish amongst other backgrounds. Looking at the famine graveyards, many headstones left to nothing but a small boulder. It leaves me to wonder the story of their lives. Is it possible that any of them could be my ancestors? I feel sadness for their pain and loss as human beings. Yet, I also have hope. Hope that maybe one day we, as people, can come to understand that we all come from somewhere. Their history, all of history, is world history. We must learn, grow from it, and take time to remember the ones who have come before us. Mm -hmm.